what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Better Biomed. Today's gonna be a quick little video. I'm gonna show you the innards of a bimetallic thermal regulation device. This here is a device that when it gets to a certain temperature, it disconnects the electricity that goes to the heating element. And as it cools off, it resets automatically with no intervention from the user and it allows it to maintain a very consistent temperature. So it clicks on, clicks off, clicks on, clicks off. And by doing so, whatever the calibrated temperature is of this guy right here, that is the temperature that your device is gonna run at. And right here, you see the device I just took apart. So let's go ahead and let's take a dive into what's going on inside this little device. Many, many analog heating devices, which are devices that don't have a digital temperature regulation, they use this kind of device. Now, I just did a video not so long ago about this guy right here, which is a milk warmer by Medela, and it uses a digital interface. It will not have something like this. Now, mind you, every single device that has a heating element is going to have a backup system, which in this case, right here, you can see I have a thermal fuse, which is open because that little guy right there failed to maintain a consistent temperature. So let's go ahead and let's take a look what is going on in this little guy. It says right here, it's 150 degrees is what it's calibrated for. And this is a KSD 301, 250 volt, handles 10 amps. So this device here only operates on 120 volts AC mains and it clicks the mains on and off with this guy right here. It does all the heavy lifting for this device. And underneath the lid, so this lid sits right here and it gets mounted upside down, just like this, to the actual heating plate. I have this guy taken apart so that you guys can see the diaphragm that's underneath it. It has a bimetallic diaphragm, and you can see on the diaphragm, it says that it has 140 degrees. See that? So it says 140 on it. So what they do is they press or they stamp a couple different metals, one on top of each other, and then it has a natural spring-loaded shape to it. And as it heats up, this spring is going to pop the opposite direction, and it's gonna happen very quickly, and it's gonna happen at a very specific temperature. You can see here, it says it's at 140 degrees. Now, the angle of the curvature and the diameter, it's all gonna affect when this guy snaps. So you can see, set it at 140 degrees. Now that guy sits right here above this hole and that sits underneath this guy. And what this guy does is when it snaps, down inside this little aperture here, there's a rod that pushes on the electrical contacts. So there is going to be a level of separation electrically between this guy right here and mains, and it's gonna be like a little plastic rod or something is going to sit inside there. Now the rod actually ejected across my shop. As soon as I opened it up, it's under a lot of pressure, kind of crimped on there. So I wasn't able to obtain it, but it's going to be something that is not electrically conductive because the last thing you want is that chassis to be connected to mains. So here's the little aperture just kind of sits in there and it guides the rod down here to your electrical contacts so it's normally closed and when it gets to the temperature that disc snaps pushes down on this guy opens up your contactor now the device starts cooling off and then when it cools to a certain temperature that disc snaps back again and it keeps heating up and then when it heats up too high that disc snaps again presses down and that's what it does that's that's all it's doing it's cycling opening cycling opening and it maintains whatever the calibrated value is very simple device very easy to install even very easy to maintain because if this guy's ever defective let's say it's as you can see it's, it's normally closed so if it's open you know it's defective automatically but uh you can also heat these guys up very particularly and you can put them in uh, calibrated water baths and you can see when they open and close. Me, I just replace them when they're even in question, just change them out. Very easy, very inexpensive, just a couple bucks at most. Thermal fuse is always going to be in question as well. 
The thermal fuse is also going to get changed out on this guy. It just is what it is. It's only a dollar or two. So basically for the $70 item here that broke, I can change this guy out and I can have it back up and going for probably less than $10. But there you have it. Now this type of uh, analog maintaining of temperature is found on all sorts of items that have heating elements. Just remember, if you ever find one of these that's defective, always check because there's going to be a thermal fuse which is also going to be in question.